all my friends, the principal and teacher. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all that listen to K104, you know what that song is. <laughs> so this is what dry hair looks like. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like I'm about to, it looks like I've been out in the field picking collard greens and shit. Y'all, I'm so inappropriate. So let me try to move over here so y'all ain't get to see that because I'm too lazy to pick that up so you can see the big ass um chair in the back. So hey y'all, how y'all doing? This is another chit chat and I'm all the way crazy. I'm very busy, so I'm gonna try to do this in 30 minutes and under. And I'm gonna be moisturizing my hair while I'm going to be doing some type of twist out with Wonder Curl. Um, she sent me this a long time ago. I love the owner of Wonder Curl, you guys. She is so, she's goofy to me. She's she's in a good way. And so I, I dig with her. I actually speak to a lot in the past, not so much recently, a lot of owners of, anyway, girl, within the hair care community. Get into it, girl. Another chit chat, you know how we do this. I talk about what's going on in my personal life, what I'm watching on TV and what I'm watching on YouTube. Um, A lot has been going on. I am hella busy with my jobs, but with my husband being out, all of the picking up JV and, you know, just extra stuff on with the child is on me. Um, JB's allergies have my poor baby. Oh, this is cute. Girl, I look like Don Cornelius. JB's allergies have gotten a little bad for the past few days. And it's all environmental, right? And and also with the cooler air here, the cooler weather here in Texas. So he basically um just has been coughing. That horrible asthmatic sounding like a wet seal cough and it started when was it it started on saturday night oh y'all get my nerves get my nerves oh my nerves all right so let me go ahead and take this apart and do what was i talking about y'all i had to do a little bit of walk on their work um oh jb he's doing okay i actually he was home for a good two days recently because he was just coughing so much. And so I just kept him home to monitor him. Um, Y'all, I hate to say this, but that Cresso Pello product really just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I, I wouldn't recommend that now because it did something crazy to my hair. It was just not a good experience for me. And so, no, we, we won't be able to, yeah. Anyway, so what am I talking about now? Uh, girls, so these student loans, so I'm one of the people that unfortunately did not get my student loan, uh, what do you call it, um, basically approved to where I don't have to pay a certain amount. They literally stopped it. The Republican Party stopped it right before it was approved. So now that the repayment options are available, you know what I did way back in last year, it's been almost a year and a half, no, no. A little over a year. I applied for what's called a bar borrower's defense, and that's for um that's for people who have loans with colleges that are no longer up and running. And my college is no longer up and running. That is WIU, Western University. They went out a while back. And so I did the application when I was supposed to, <clears throat> and it's still in review. So me, I'm on my <laughs> I'm on my game. I'm like, okay, I need to make sure since you guys are telling me that now we have to go back and start repaying these loans, what's going on? How much do I owe? So I've been going to my portal way back in August. Nothing's available. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? Do you guys not have any information? <sighs> I go to the student gov site and I'm like, what's going on? You not have any information. And I saw some literature that basically stated if you have applied for a borrower defense, whatever, whatever, your loans will automatically go into a, for, into a forbearance. And I'm like, okay. So I go a step further and I'm like, okay, I need to know what's going on. Log into my account on the student gov site. I see some dates that say that my loans have been in, in a forbearance until 2032. And I'm thinking, what? 
thank you, but what the hell is going on? And so at this point, I'm thinking somebody gonna mess up the number. Somebody transposed the numbers. Instead of 2023, they wrote 2032. So I waited a couple of days to see if it would autocorrect. It doesn't. And since I'm still like, now nah, you ain't gonna kept catch me slipping, not even when you owe the government money. So I called the people that manage my loans and I'm like, look, I'm trying to set up my payments and it's showing that I can't even set up automatic payments. He's like, well, since you applied for the borrower defense application, your loans have been in a forbearance until 2032. I said, what? So that's true. He said, yeah, hopefully it'll be approved by then. I said, I hope it will be too, because that's a long ass time. The interest is going to, <laughs> he said, well, you can pay it, but if it, if it comes that if we find out that we actually are going to wipe your loans clean, then we'll send you a check. And he kind of insinuated, he's like, but you really don't have to do anything. So the fact that he added that leads me to believe you you may want to keep your money. So anyway, enough of that, girl. Ain't nobody going to be paying these loans. So the holidays are coming. My parents are coming for Thanksgiving, um, the day after Thanksgiving. So I'm going to do something little and probably going to make <laughs> dressing. My mama was getting... <laughs> I had to surprise her and let her know that I don't eat turkey. Let me, let, correction, I will eat turkey. I will, but I'm not a fan of turkey, which is sacrilegious here in the South because everyone's about the turkey legs and turkey. I don't do that. I don't do turkey. Look, there's a lot of meats I don't eat. I don't do turkey. I don't do oxtail. My husband and them, they do goat. I don't do goat. My family, they do deer, uh, venison. Uh, I don't do none of that. Now, I'll do ground turkey. I will. I'll do ground turkey over ground hamburger. But I'm not a big fan of turkey. So my mom was like, well, I'm going to try to get down there in line to get the turkey. And I'm, I let her say her whole spill. And when she was done, I said, well, you know, um, you don't have to do that, mama. Because she said, well, I don't mind. I said, well, no, no, no. <laughs> You don't have to do that because I don't, I don't really care for turkey. She said, she got quiet. She didn't even say anything. She said, hmm, well, I really don't, y'all. But anyway, she's going to come. My best friend invited um, me and JB over her house for Thanksgiving, child. It's her and her um, family. They're all um, Nigerian and Igbo specifically. So, and we were over there last year. And so we will go over there. I'll bring a, a bottle of Chardonnay and all of that to spend some time over there. And the day after, my my parents gonna be here, and then I went ahead and booked a reservation for JB and I to go to the Anatole for the holidays. Girl, we're just gonna be there for one day. At first, I did two days, but look, after I would do two days there, and then they do like a Christmas. You can buy like Christmas. Um, they have like a little event there where you can do everything Christmas. You can have uh, breakfast with Santa. JB don't even believe in Santa, but I ain't, so we ain't doing all that. So we're just going to do the event and then just eat in there for one day. Everything is going to cost me a little over $500, which it is what it is, you know. Um, girl, what is this? So we're going to do that the week before Thanksgiving. And then, he's super excited about that. What else, you guys? So, look, Teresa Ramirez. Mira, I don't have time. You know, she, she's been asking me about Vlogmas. I really don't have the, the energy and bandwidth, bandwidth to record every day and load up every day. I really don't. And, and the sad thing about it is that I actually am recording more, but just taking the time to load it up and stuff. Like, for example, this past weekend, because JB was was not feeling well, I couldn't even edit any of that footage. I couldn't even video another review I had planned for y'all. So, I'm sorry, honey. I can't do Vlogmas. I haven't done Vlogmas, Vlogmas in so long, you guys. But it was so much fun whenever we did it. So, enough of that. Oh, um, yeah, enough of that. So, what I'm watching on YouTube, Joe not a lot it's just so much going on what do i have here two women and child let me tell you something i don't really watch much on youtube anymore but there was somebody i was seeing there was there's like a couple of people that i'm seeing that have been gone for years 
and they made a video like there was one girl i think she well she's a woman actually i'm sorry she was on the weight loss journey i think her video was like her username excuse me it's like tears no more tears something like that she has dreads and she hasn't posted in two years and she did a video now i will say this i get it that one that's a pet peeve of mine mine meaning it's a pet peeve of mine when youtubers say i'm back this is what's going on after they're gone for so long and then they leave and they, they leave again and they're gone for a long stretch on the flip side i get it everybody's busy you know stuff but you don't owe us anything, girl. I get it. And life can be busy. But there's so many YouTubers that have done that in the past. And it's just so disappointing. You're like, what's going on? What are they doing? Like, it is what it is. I um, was watching some of Linda's video. Linda Lynn from um, Louisiana. I feel so bad for Linda, you guys. She is going through so much with her ex-husband. He's moved on with another woman, and he's just been acting an absolute fool. Um, and I know people are like, well, that's why you got to be careful who you have kids with. I agree with that, but it looks like, to me, it seems like Linda's husband just, maybe she didn't see the red, the red flags, you know, or maybe it was something that he changed, and then now all of a sudden he's acting this way. I feel so bad for her. Just, just, it's ridiculous what's going on. And just to have, you know, CPS involved in all of this, it's just unnecessary drama. Like, it's unnecessary. Like, you, it really is. So I'm just praying for her in her situation. I really am. Um, looks like she's locking her hair she's had her hair locked now for a month and y'all i was on the bandwagon of what to get my hair locked but i like to wear my hair in so many different styles and i know you can still do that with locks i do know that um and my husband likes my hair loose he does he likes my hair loose y'all y'all this, this look at this this all matted shit i may go ahead it's locked up right now hell i was just looking at some other stuff with other celebrity not necessarily gossip but celebrity news but apparently bruce willis y'all his uh, his because he has frontal dementia if i remember correctly he's gotten worse i think to the point to where it's really hard for him to even talk now that is so sad and there's somebody else who has dementia too um he's older than bruce willis and it's just really sad to see someone that is that you know so vibrant and then an actor someone like that to decline the way that he is it's really really sad really really sad what else is going on not much else i've been watching on there we ain't gonna go into the stuff where that crazy yuck mac girl was fighting at tamar's i don't know if i believe i'm just gonna say this like i said I, look i just said i'm gonna get into the gossip I don't know if I 100% believe that Tamar is, okay, I don't know if I believe that Tamar is 100% innocent, because Tamar is so messy, or she could be messy, y'all know what I'm, I mean, and she's just, she's disrespectful in her own right, um, but that girl, that little girl, you would think that after she had a baby, she would like settle down and not act a plum fool and think about her child instead of going around and punching somebody in the face. Are you are you out your dang on mind? She needs to be careful. She really does. Cause anybody can go in and um create contact CPS and get your kids taken away. Like you don't want that to happen. Absolutely a mess. Look, I just said I wasn't gonna be talking about gossip and stuff and, and celebrity gossip. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. Y'all, there was something I wanted to bring up, and I completely forgot what it was. Um, yeah, I'm really going to take the time to just moisturize my hair now because it's, it's matted. I'm going to use a buttercream, too, and I'm just going to keep my hair up because it feels horrible. And I know exactly what I'm going to do to remedy this. I'm going to get my um, steamer out. 
I use my Queen Helen with my oils for my next deep conditioner. That's what I'm going to have to do. Child, moving on. What I'm watching on TV. I've been watching a lot of different stuff. Mostly like interviews with celebrities and all of that. But some stuff I did watch. I finally watched Reptile with, what's his name? He still sounds like he's 15 years old. What goes around, goes around, goes around, comes by the way back around. Justin Timberlake, girl. Justin Timberlake and Benicio Del Toro, you know, <laughs> he's in it too. He is so good looking to me. He's in it too. Very good. Very, very interesting. Not what you expect. I also saw a movie on Netflix called Cut Bank with Billy Bob Crazy Ass Thornton and John Malkovich. Y'all, I had a crush on John, John Malkovich for the longest. I know I'm weird as hell. Receding hairline and all, child. He weird too, but it was a good movie. A good movie. Not what I expected, but a good movie. Um, I saw one of the most disturbing disturbing movie i saw one of the most disturbing movies ever that i literally had to pause it and go back and be like what what, <clears throat> what did i just watch the killing of a sacred deer the killing of a sacred deer and not to get into too much it has nicole kidman and that, uh, uh, what's he from? Uh, Irish guy. <laughs> I don't know y'all. But anyway, um, it's about a married couple who the father is a cardiologist. And this weird ass teenager has befriended their family. And the father had operated on the teen's father. And unfortunately, the father passed away. Well, things keep getting weirder and weirder. And I knew the movie was going to be weird when it cut to a scene where Nicole Kidman is laying on the bed and the father is like, well, she says something like, what did she say, y'all? Basically what the medication they give you when you need to go under for surgery. And he's like, yes. And she falls limp, sleep. And he proceeds to get on her, take off her underwear. And so he has a fetish for having sex with people who are nearly dead. Was that called necrophilia? Ted Bundy had that. He had that work. He actually, one of his girlfriends, he told them to sit there and pretend like you not, not, a, <laughs> it's not funny. That's disgusting and weird as hell. It really is. That there's something wrong with that. But in the movie that happened, I'm like, <sighs> okay, I'm a G. Let me continue it. So it goes on. Weird ass kid eating his spaghetti and stuff. And so basically, what overall what happens is that I'm not gonna give too much, but the kids start getting sick, and the father has to make a decision that he doesn't want to make in order to save the family. Weird as hell, weird. I have no feelings, but it's some, one of those type of movies I probably will never watch again. I don't think I recommend it, but it's weird. Killing of a Sacred Deer with a bunch of weird people. Apparently, Phaedra is on Married to Medicine. I'm very shocked that anybody would allow Phaedra on their show with the false allegations that she did on married, excuse me, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, to my opinion, she would be so it would be such a liability to have her. But she's good for ratings. You know what I mean? It, it's sad to say that, but she's good for she's good for ratings. So she's on there. Quad's ex husband got another girl. I feel bad for Quad. I just come before I came on here. I was looking at I was on Instagram and I saw a Mariah had did something real quick on, on Instagram. Mariah is is I mean we're all getting older, but she looked like she's life is hitting her hard. It, it looks like it is. It looks like life is hitting her pretty hard. So whatever she's going through, I hope it gets better. But that's it, you guys. Now I'm yapping away. 
I need to continue to moisturize my hair and really, really give it some TLC. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna have to definitely take my time this next wash day and more than likely detangle in the shower. No, I'm gonna detangle beforehand using fresh aloe vera and oil. Just really get in there, in there. Just fresh aloe vera and oil, that is it. So, all right, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.